Another update uh, on the San Bernardino shooters. Tashfeen Malik reportedly passed three black and background tracks by American officials before moving from Pakistan into the United States, despite questionable posts on her social media about jihad. And just now, breaking according to the Wall Street Journal, the U.S. is working on a plan to scrutinize social media with these visa reviews. Joining me now is the president of the American Freedom Defense Initiative, Pamela Geller. All right, Pamela, there's so many angles to go to in this, but first let's talk about how, how these folks were able to slip through. Jay Johnson said that they kind of thought it would be politically incorrect or a public relations nightmare uh, asking people who want to come to this country for permission to look at their social media posts. Well, it shows how inadequate the vaunted vetting process really is. You know what's deeply troubling is that her social postings on September 11th, 2011, the 10th anniversary, where jihad was raging in Cairo, where jihad was raging in Libya, was completely ignored. Now, we see that anti-jihad um, postings are taken down. Facebook is vicious in the taking down, tagging, and harassing of, of anti-jihad um, posters on Facebook. But it speaks to the inadequate vetting process. It speaks to particularly after Garland. The similarities are glaring between Garland. The foreign encrypted messages, why wasn't anything instituted after that? The shooting at the gun ranges, both of them, why wasn't anything instituted wasn't after that? Wasn't she shooting in the whole, uh, the, the burqa, the whole thing? I mean, and I mean that the one that you only have a slit. The burqa. Well, yeah. I mean, yeah, she was there. Wasn't the, didn't they, she go to the firing range with this on? Yes, but you know, again, if anyone was to say anything, they'd be Islamophobic. The neighbors that didn't say anything when they saw all of these quote-unquote um, devout Middle Eastern men coming and going were afraid of, of being deemed racist or Islamophobic, even though Islam is not a race. The fact is, if you think about it, if nothing happened, they would have been deemed Islamophobic. Look at the doctors around uh, the Fort Hood Jihadi, Major Hassan. They knew something right. was wrong. He made, it a, he well, made was, a whole presentation wasn't on... Wasn't that workplace violence? Yeah, yes, yeah. that was workplace violence. You know, Pamela, here we have uh, what, what, what happened with the, your event. Uh, you would think that would be it. That would have been the last straw. Uh, that we would have said to ourselves as a people, as a, as, a, as, a, as, a, as a country rather, that hey, we've got to protect ourselves. We're an open society, we pride ourselves on that, but we've got to make sure that we safeguard the people here. Now that we've had that, and we've had San Bernardino, it still feels like the administration is not going to change course. I think it's worse than that. I think the Obama administration has blood on its hands. After Benghazi, the President of the United States blamed the First Amendment. He bl blamed a YouTube video. He said, uh, the future does not belong to those that slander the prophet of Islam. After San Bernardino, he, Loretta Lynch vowed to, to criminalize, to prosecute anti-Muslim rhetoric. The knee-jerk response to jihad attacks is to it's impose so funny, Sarah, I'm looking at more articles, uh, anti-Muslim attacks occurring in record numbers. Somehow the narrative is starting to switch in the last week. That, that the Muslims in America are the victims here and not people who were slaughtered, for instance, at the uh, rec center in, in, in Redlands. It's the knee-jerk reaction to every jihad attack. Jihad strikes and fear of reprisals is the response. backlash phobia And if you look at the FBI statistics, it does not bear that out. The largest amount of hate crimes are against Jews, close to 60%. Where's all the legislation? Where's the president inviting a little Jewish boy with a clock to the White House? We never see anything like that. This is the response to distract the American people from the jihad right. threat and to defend a failed policy which caused a catastrophic intel failure in San Bernardino. Pamela Geller, thanks a lot. Thank really you, Charles, for having it. me.